Hi everyone. Um, as some of you know, um, last week I decided I was going to follow along with Kylie Koo's Junk Use It or Lose It hashtag um, event. Um, well, this week Kylie is making a concertina um, journal out of old cards. I've grabbed a selection of cards here. They're all different sizes and I'm going to do mine slightly different to, to Kylie's. Um, Kylie kept the cards um, in varying sizes, but I think that will bug me. Um, so I'm going to trim mine down. So that is my shortest card and this is my narrowest. And so I'm going to measure this one here. So mine will all be... Um, six and a quarter inches in height and let's have a look and four and three quarters in width so i'm going to trim all of these down and then i'll come back okay so i've trimmed um all of my cards now so that they're all sort of more or less the the same size and i've got some um masking tape here at the ready and i'm going to do as kylie did and i am just going to um glue my pages to together like like this so let's make sure that i'm in shot for you so i am just going to grab a piece of masking tape and in fact i think what i'll do as well is i'll put some prick stick um down just to make sure that um i get a nice good good hold so i've um sanded the edges down as well um just so that it's ready for when i start painting let's just put those together like that to bring my masking tape in oh gosh butterfingers And then I'm going to flip it over and put some masking tape on the other side as, as well, I think. And then I shall just trim the ends and then I'll come back and I'll do the, do the next one. Okay, so that's how that looks. So then I am going to take the next one and just add some more masking tape here. And so now, there we go. And I'll just keep going until I've... Um, joined all of my cards together. So I've put um, all of the pages of my journal together now so um, that's all nice and secure and I've decided that I'd like to strengthen um, the front and back as well and so I've um, grabbed some of this double-sided tape. This is the really really strong stuff and I'm just going to make um, a pocket front and, and back so I'm just going to stick some of the tape um, just on the top and the bottom, on the front and the back. Okay, so um, I've got my little pocket now um, at the front and another one at the back. And you can probably tell that I've decided I'm going to use my jelly plate to add colour to my pages. Um, I've grabbed some colours here um, that I'm going to be using. Um, so greens, blues um, and a bit of pink and purple. Um, so, let me just get myself organised. Right, okay, let's just squeeze some. I ended up ordering another um, one of these Amsterdam acrylics in the sky blue light because I just love it so much and I'm literally at the end. So, I'm just going to add paint down. Let's add a little bit of the olive as well. I've ordered some more of the olive green as well because I'm running low on this and I just love it. Um, right, grab a brayer. My plate is still dirty from the last time I used it, but you know, that doesn't matter. That's absolutely fine. And um, what I want to do with this is just build up um, layers until I've covered um, most of the print and text on, on the cards. I've got a piece of plain paper to the side of me here just to brayer things off on. And I'm going to do a few pages um, at a time. So hang on. Okay, start this way first. Try not to wobble the table too much for you. And I'm just going to build up layers of paint. Let's go along to the next two. This time I'm coming in with um, this colour here. So this is the Amsterdam Acrylic in Turquoise Green. I love that colour. Add a bit of um, pink into this. 
as well. I don't want to mix the paints up um, too much. I want lots of um, interest on my pages. Lots of bright, vibrant colour. Right, OK, so let's go along to the next batch of pages. Oh. Stamp that down. Move along to the next two. And I'm just going to continue adding um, paints like this. And I shall put this into, into speed up just so that you can see what colours I'm adding. But um, obviously this is going to be quite um, a lengthy process. Let's see if I can pick up any more on, on the next two. So let me show you what I've got so, so far. But yummy, yummy colour. I mean, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm just going to continue doing this until I've covered um, all of my pages. Right, I've got some colour down now on all of the pages, so I'll just flick through what I've got so far. I mean, that's just, just gorgeous, isn't it? But I want to go back over it again. This is dry um, with a, another layer of, of paint, and I shall pick out the same colours so that I don't end up with them um, with a horrible muddy, muddy mess. But um, but just try and sort of concentrate in the areas that I've missed and where you can still see um, parts of the card showing through. Um, concentrating on these areas. Let's um, go back the other way so that you can see that. But um, but I think that's looking good so far. So as I say, I'm going to repeat um, the process. I want to try and show you what I'm doing here. I'm concentrating on this page here and I want to get some colour um, over where the door and the Christmas tree is. Um, and so I'm turning it over and I'm just sort of like trying to dab um, so that I don't spoil what um, I've already got underneath and I'm lifting it up and I'm looking it's a bit tricky but I'm not pressing um, the paint down absolutely um, everywhere and I think that will probably do and then I'm drying it um, in between as, as well so that's what I've got um, at the moment. Well, I carried on um, with my jelly plate, adding more and more layers of paint until I was happy with it. Um, and um, it's finished um, now, or well, the painting is, and it's been drying overnight. So let me just give you a flick through of the pages so far. But again, I just kept adding more layers of paint and just really being quite specific about where I positioned it. So pressing down on the jelly plate in a specific area if there were some areas where I could still see text from the, or pictures, images from the cards. Um, but this is what um, I've got so far and I just absolutely love it. I just think the colours um, are just gorgeous. Um, it feels really nice too. Um, so that's that. And then if I go um, the other way and show you what I've got The other side so that's my journal um, so far and look I've got two fabulous finished journals this is the one that you've seen me um, create and I've decorated the um, outside and added a closure um, the outside um, was decorated using some of the dilution stamps I used the dot one and um, script stamp here and the jumbled letters, jumbled numbers um, for this one. And I used various colors of, of stays on ink for that. Then I grabbed some white paint and some uh, and a bottle cap um, and a battery and just added a bit more doodling and then put an embossed flower. I've got um, a video that I did about five or six weeks ago that shows how to um, emboss and I'll leave um, a link to that video if anybody's um, interested. 
um, in seeing how that that was done. And then the closure was um, created using a brad. I've got a decorative, a decorative brad that um, I've poked through um, with a pokey tool. And then I've tied on this piece of, of yarn here. This was yarn that I received from either Maria or Linda in Happy Mail. And that can just be tied around um, like, like this and then just wound around the, the brad. So, so that's that one. And then here's another one that, um, that I created in, in much the same way. So again, the cover was created and decorated using the Dilution stamps, this time the um, Harlequin one and script stamp. I've added a little butterfly this time and um, this time the centre of the flower is white embossing powder. And let me just give you a flip through of um, these pages, but they were jelly printed in exactly um, the same way. So nice colourful pages there. Um, and let's go back the other way. Um, I've added some washi tape to the outside edges, although this one I'm having a bit of a job to get it to stick down properly. I need to go and add a bit more glue so that's that and then the closure this time was just a, some yarn that i picked up from tiger this was two pounds for the for the ball and um i've punched a hole in the front and the back then folded the the flap over so i've got two pockets um at the at the top on on these and again i can just wrap my yarn around like this and wrap it around the other way and then just tie it um, at the top like that. So two gorgeous journals that um, that I've created. And then also I've got some um, really lovely colourful pages as well. I've got some deli prints. This was just clear up paper to get rid of the um, layers of, of colours on the, the jelly plate. So I've got a couple of those. I think there's another one under here somewhere. There we go. There's um, that one there too. And um, then I've got some um, pages that I was cleaning the brayer off with. Um, so those are pretty as well. So I can use those for, for collage. Those are those are lovely. Um, so go and check Kylie's video out. So again, I'll leave the um, link to Kylie's video in the description box below. And of course, you can check out hashtag junk, use it or lose it. And Kylie, if you do watch this video, thank you ever so much for doing this series. I'm just absolutely loving it. And I just love these. So give me a thumbs up if you like that. Let me know what you think in the comments below and take care, everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Take care for now.